All right, let's go into the next setting, which is portfolio. So the portfolio section, I haven't named as gallery right now. It's going to be all the images that you add to your site in the portfolio section. So to get this page set up, we're going to first want to go under pages and add new. I've already added the pages, so I'm going to go to all pages and show you how to add that page. Remember, I named it gallery, so let's go in under here and edit. So the gallery, the template is set to project. So that needs to happen for sure. If you want your images to show up on the gallery page, you need to set the template to project. Once you set that template to project, you don't really need any content in here. Just hit update. So now that you have a project page set up, you can actually go into projects and start adding any number of projects that you want. So for instance, I've added all these projects. You can go to add new and it'll take you to just like a page, like a blog page. You'll want to add the title, add all the content about your page. I included a short code here that, you know, just has a view project and can go anywhere we'd like. These tags over here is actually what's going to be the filter on the gallery page. So this is the filter. Whatever tags you make and tag your post with or your project post will be what it gets filtered by. So for instance, this flying duck is in wildlife. So if I go to wildlife, you'll see that the flying duck still stays. This project image is set with the featured image section. So when there's not a featured image there, you'll want to go to set featured image. And I've added a lot of images already. So you'll want to go in here and use, once you upload the image, go to use as featured image. You want to make these images pretty big because, you know, you can set your project to different columns. You can do two column layout, three column layout, and four column layout. So uploading a big image like 600 by 400 would be a pretty good idea. Once you upload the image, say use as featured image, save all changes. So that image is in the featured image section. Make sure you have all your content in there and then update. So now that we have a project, our gallery should have all the projects that you've added into it. So under appearance, theme options, you'll notice that I, it's set to three columns right now. You can also set it to two and four. So like I said, it's set to three right now. If we change it to two, save options. See, this is why you want to upload a big image. So in case you do decide to go to two columns later down the road or whenever you do, the image is big enough to fit in these two column areas and not distort the image. You can also set it to four. It does go down to four. And of course, this is responsive with all the thumbnails. It'll look good on any device. So the other options you have in the portfolio section is to use filter buttons. The filter buttons again are this. If you don't want to have let your users filter images, you can simply uncheck that. Just like any other button, you can do the size of the filter buttons. If you want them big, small, large, also the color. Let's go with black. Let's save that just so you can see the changes. See, so we change it to small and black. Works like a charm. 
So the next op options is actually the project buttons. And those are these buttons right here. So again, the block element has been added to these buttons, but if you don't like that, you can simply uncheck that. If you don't want the buttons at all, you can uncheck that. And you can also do the size here as well and color. Let's make it look really like a bumblebee. We got black and yellow. Also, you can change maybe they're not projects, maybe they're photos. View photos. And the last setting here is display project titles. So whatever you name the project when you're creating the project under pr project add new, you can actually show that here. So let's go to save options. Let's see the changes that we've made. So you'll notice that we took away the block element, so now the buttons aren't full width. We changed the text on the buttons, we changed the color and the size. We also enabled and showed the project titles. So all this can be changed and edited here in the back end. So let's take out the project titles and let's take out the project buttons. So actually nothing's going to be showing other than the projects. That looks pretty clean. So the last setting we have here is social. And these are just the social icons here in the footer and also in the header if you'd like. So right now we have just the show social icons in the footer. So if you go through and you add URLs to your social presences, they will automatically be added. If you leave a URL out and you save options, it will not be added to the footer or the header section. So since we removed Twitter, once we reload this page, this Twitter icon will actually be gone. So you notice it isn't there anymore. So you can also add the social icons to the top nav. You can leave both of these checked if you'd like. Make your theme extra social. <laughs> so notice I get added next to the search bar in the navigation. So we probably want to remove that again in the general settings. Show search bar in top nav. Let's take that out. Reload. Notice they're up there and in the footer. Once you reload this down, or resize it down, you'll see that the social icons are in the bottom like where the search bar was. Okay, the last thing I want to cover is how to get your menus set up. So once since earlier we added pages, we added the gallery page. You'll probably want to add, you know, a number of other pages and we have several different templates included. You want to create your menu. So you want to go to appearance, menus. And when you have a new theme, this is going to be blank. So you'll want to create a menu name. So we just named it menu and put save menu. And over here in this area, you'll be able to assign which menu goes where. So your top menu is obviously in the top. And then your footer menu is down here at the bottom. So you can create two different menus. So we created a menu and then a footer. Once you have the menu created, you can add these pages however you'd like from the bottom over here or even custom links maybe you have blog categories that you would like to add simply check the box and click add menu once it's added you can drag it around to wherever you like you can also make little drop down so since these are indented a little bit that means they'll be drop down menus so since we already have landing page let's remove that 
and save the menu. So notice our top navigation, our parent menus are about, gallery, shortcodes, blog, page templates, and contact us. All these pages are going to be drop down menu of page templates. So once we're on the site, about, gallery, shortcodes, page templates has all those drop down items and then contact us. Same for the footer. These are the two menu items we have in the footer. So going back to our page, our different page templates, we have all these different page templates like you know the full width page template, the left sidebar, and the landing page. So in order to get these page templates, when you're creating a new page, once you hit add new, since we've already created them, we're just going to go into all pages. And you want to create, say, the landing page. You name it whatever you'd like. Put in the content. And again, under templates, just like earlier, how we set the template to project, we're going to use the landing page template. There's several other templates in here that you can experiment with. And, you know, just check out our demo to see how they interact. We even have a sitemap and a contact us page. So under all pages, this contact us, we're using the contact page template. So in our, in our site, when someone goes to contact us, it automatically adds this form. And once someone submits this form, I just wanted to show you that notice we do have form validation so if someone doesn't insert the right information it will pop up an error message but once they do this information will get sent to the email that's set in your settings general it'll automatically get set to sent to this email address that's good to know one last thing you probably need to know how to change your widget areas both on the home page and in the in the sidebar area so in appearance widgets you'll notice these sidebar areas this is the main sidebar this means it's on every page unless there's a custom sidebar for that page so this would be the main sidebar we have the right sidebar that that right sidebar is used on the right page template, the left sidebar on the left page template, the left sidebar half page, you know, etc., etc. So, left sidebar half page. If you wanted totally different and new widgets in that area, you know, then you add them to that left sidebar half page. And here is where you at you update your home page. So these are the three widget areas right here, one, two, and three. So home widget one, home widget two, and home, wi home widget three. We've also included a widget area on the contact page. So if you want to, you know, say add your address or, you know, your picture of yourself or anything you can think of. So other than that, I think we've covered pretty much all the settings and all the different things you can do with strap press if you have any other questions please feel free to email us and we'll get back with you as soon as possible thanks for your time bye